to different ways. I mean, you know something? You just brought up hip hop. Oh. Um, That's my lane. I, I gotta on, pick man. your brain on this. Come on, man. Let's go. Hip hop is one of the most dangerous jobs on planet Earth right now. And and we they just, said they said hip hop is hip hop is more dangerous than going to the military or being a police officer right now. Okay. One hundred percent. A hip hip hop artist have to wear bulletproof vests to go get smoothies, nigga. <laughs> I mean. It's scary. Hip hop artists, it is a target on your back like never before. Absolutely. I, I gotta ask you, like we just spoke about woke society being politically correct. Mm -hmm. We also spoke about, you know, hip hoppers, like how dangerous that job is. So in, in some regards, being a comedian, there's some things you can't say mm -hmm. because you might be canceled. Mm -hmm. But do you? <laughs> Uh, 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 y'all just knowing what's going on in the world of hip hop, are y'all actually scared to say the things that you would normally hey. say, knowing that yo, it might be a nigga in this crowd, like, 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 it might hey. be one of these hip hop dudes in this crowd about to blast off on me. Or do it's you so crazy? It's so crazy you say that because I do a whole thing in my act about this serious? topic, nigga. You gotta come see me live, bro. Like when I tell you, it's as real as it gets in my world. I noticed. As I've matured as a comic, 30 years in now, I've just got more and more honest. And like, cause it, it's, it's like, when you're a new comedian, you are just trying to be funny. Hope some people like you, right? But as you mature and grow, you start being, nigga, I can't be nobody else but me. And go. all I'm gonna do is tell my stories and the way I see things. And I feel like the more honest I got over the years, the funnier this shit was because it, it's coming from me. You can tell it's coming from me. It's my perspective. It's what happened to me. Don't get me wrong. I'm like any other comic. There's certain things that topics that happen, happen in the world. And hey, I'm going to talk about it like everybody else. Like I have a whole joke I do on stage about I have one of my boys that uh, is a young black politician in D.C., and he told me, he taught me some inside shit. He was like, bro, you probably won't believe this, but he said, there's, <clears throat> there's talks amongst the inside of the, the military, not the military, the, uh, the political world, that if Donald Trump was to come back to become president 2024, if that miraculously happens, they said that the man is trying to bring back cotton picking. Did you hear that? Did you hear anything about that? I, I, I no. That, I is, know. that is the truth. He was going to try to bring back cotton picking. Hold on, this, this is not a joke. You oh, no, no. Punchline, this, this is this, real? This, this is not a joke, brother. I'm, they yeah. said, I'm about, to, I'm about to tell you the end of it. He said he's going to try to bring back cotton picking. But he said, here's the flip side. They said, if he does, he's trying to make it a six figure a year job. So niggas would be picking cotton all day long. That means a nigga gonna have to make a decision. I'm gonna ask you right now, Sean, just me and you, ain't nobody else on this. And all I need is a yes or a no, Sean. Don't say nothing else but a yes or a no. Or a half a million dollars a year. Would you pick cotton? Absolutely. You cotton picking right, nigga. And I'm gonna be your, and I'm gonna be your cotton picking assistant, okay? I'm going to be right there with you in some Gucci flip-flops, a Louis Vuitton backpack, and some Beats by Dre. Sean, we're going to be in the fields TikToking, my nigga. We're going to be out that motherfucker. This is America. This is America. This is America. <laughs> nigga, we going viral, okay? I take shit when I hear stories like that. I just say what goes on in my mind, and I just take it to the stage. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.